Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James, hope you're doing well. And we've got some new arrivals in the back, uh, I've been busy this week. And we've got some new Allosauruses. Uh, right behind us I've got a 145 and two 150 Allosauruses. So this is the first male, now we're not going to be using this one because it's just got over 4000 health and the melee was at 406, so that was the 145. Now this is the other male, the health's a little bit better but not much, and again the melee damage is only at 406. And lastly we've got the female 150, and uh, she had um, the best health and the best melee damage, so rather than, I'm kind of done with grabbing what Allosauruses we need, I'll need to grab more T-Rexes, but I'm going to kind of breed her stats into another male and work from there on the imprints. And outside here I've got some boxes ready, as you'll see we've got the Broodmother, the Megapithecus, the Dragon and the Overseer, and these are our trophy that we've uh, gathered so far, and I just know I haven't actually got much in the way of Sarko skins and Titan Bow of Venom. Um, but the rest of the stuff we're doing pretty well for. Uh, I only need about two more um, Therizino claws and we can do the Megapithecus. Um, we have, we've got some more Uteranus brains but we've got all of the Tuso tentacles that we're going to need. And alpha wise we've got pretty much everything we need there apart from the Giga Heart. So um, earlier on this week I was doing my water run and we found a Alpha Tuso. Now this dropped, well it dropped the Alpha Eye that we needed for the Overseer but it also dropped 75 Black Pearls which is great and I'm nearly up to 150 now so we need 150 to build the Tech Fabricator when we come to that so that's a good start. Uh, we also got a Alpha Lethictus so we've got the Blubber we need to fight the Overseer with that trophy. And unfortunately as well, earlier this week I was out just gathering some more trophies of the caves that we've done and uh, I rather stupidly uh, got people killed. So yep, we're another otter down. <laughs> just keep going through them guys, I'm sorry. But yeah, today I figured that we're going to have a day around the base, do some dino breeding. And uh, I was planning to tame some snails as well because cementing placed is starting to be a problem. Um, it, it was alright as I was going into the Chitin Keratin Caves, but um, that's a bottleneck that I want to get rid of, so I'm going to tame a few snails. And uh, just over here I've got a couple of Uteranuses. We got, this one was only like a 25 or something, a 25 and a 35, but I only grabbed them for the eggs. Uh, but that being said, they haven't dropped any eggs yet, so I probably need to chuck a low level male in there or something. But uh, I thought it might get us started with the kibble because I've given up on taming the Hesperonosis um, so the Uteranus eggs are the way I'm going to be going forward with this playthrough but yeah it doesn't look like anything's dropping any eggs not even the dodos come on guys what are you playing at? so really it's going to be um, one of them episodes I'm going to be spending a little bit of time around the base really I need to make up a load of trank arrows get some metal done and I'm going to build a I think I'm going to build a a snail pen of some sort so we'll set these two off to breed and uh, yeah I think we will we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of a building montage we'll be back in two secs guys Like I do with all my builds, a finishing touch, and we'll stick a we'll stick some Tinto berries outside. I'm going to need them for healing brews anyway. And yeah, uh, not too shabby. I'm not too sure about the roof though. I don't know whether I might change that for wood or thatch. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Um, I think I need to put some torches outside, like I've got on the greenhouse over here, just to make it stand out a little bit more. But uh, yeah, it's only for 
snails. Um, but, hey, I like to try and thing, make things look smart. We need to test it out. We need to go and find some snails. So I think we'll head off to the swamp and see what we can see. And uh, while we're there, we're going to grab some Sarko skins and some more Titan Bar Venom. Okay, so I've managed to find uh, two or three Titan Boas and some Sarkos, just getting the trophies together while we're out here. But I haven't found any snails yet. They're not usually that hard to find. Oh, yeah. There we go, there's another Sarko skin. And uh, just land for a second. I think I need to boost. I think I'm pumping melee damage now on Twitch. I think I'm sort of done with the health. Uh, yeah, 1300 health. Got plenty of health. And that's another Sarko skin. So we've got four Venom and four Sarko skins. And I say it's easier if we just do all of this at the same time. But yeah. So I, they're not really a rare spawn, the snails. I've seen plenty of them. It's just every time you go out to try and find something, you never see it when you want. It's okay. And, uh, So I guess I haven't really spent too much time out in the swamps, really. That's probably why I'm a little bit short on the Sarko skins. Is that a snail? Yeah, that's one over there. So, we'll just pick him up on the beak and the RG. And uh, we'll try and bring him back two at a time. But, uh, yep, let's keep on hunting around. Uh, there's another Sarko there. Um, I think we'll just go and put this snail down over here. I don't want to get him damaged. Should be fine here. Okay, come here, Sarko. We need your skins. So we've got two of them. Nice stuff. So we've got Titan Boa here as well. So sometimes you don't get the Titan Boa Venom. Like that time I didn't. And sometimes they just drop a bag. And uh, I haven't been picking them up. So you kind of got to watch out for that because sometimes your dino doesn't gather it. These dino things. I think sometimes the best thing to do is just stay in the air actually when it comes to hitting these guys rather than flying around trying to get them. Um, but yeah, I can't see that um, Titan Boa didn't drop any backpacks. Obviously, he didn't give us any venom from that one. Where's that snail gone? We just dropped him here. Couldn't have got far. So I literally just sort of dropped him here. He's only a snail. They don't move that fast. Couldn't have gone all the way up here. There's a snail here. Is that the same snail? It's already heading back down the hill. I don't think that's the same one. I can't remember what the colour of the other one was. Um, but if it is the same one, then it ran up that hill quite quick. It's a speedy sail. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep on hunting round. See, there's no point in bringing them back one at a time when we can do it two at a time on the RG. So, but yeah, if there was one around here, it should be around in this sort of area. Unless it went... Despawned or went around the rocks or something, I don't know. Let's move on. Just think they're harder to spot. Just being small. Sometimes they can just look like a rock. You can land right next to them and miss them sometimes. But, um... I like the swamp. It's a dangerous area to be in, but it is uh, it is a cool area. Looking forward to seeing what the swamps look like in uh, the Genesis map, actually. It's going to be pretty cool. Well, we've got some more Titan Boa here. Um, in fact, probably don't want to fight this with the snail in my mouth 
Um, I think I'll just go and put the snail down, otherwise I might end up losing it. Probably not the best thing to do, fight with that. And yeah, see that time we got two Titan Boa Venom and it went straight into the inventory. But like I say, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes they drop it and then other times they can just leave a bag. There's another one there, we'll grab that. Saves us grabbing all of these trophies later on. Okay, yeah, so that time I didn't pick any up, but there is a bag, so that should have um, the Titan Bow Venom in it. Yeah, and there you go. And a metal, metal pike. Kind of forget Sarko's and Titan Bowers actually dropped them metal pikes. They're really good early game dinos and stuff to take out just to get your metal stuff if you can. Quite often they drop uh, metal hatchets and uh, quite useful items. And, and we got another one. So it's two snails. Right, let's head back to base. That's what we needed. And uh, yeah, this will stop. Uh, I think probably grab another two more and I, I would say that four snails should be more than enough cementing paste for what we're going to need. And uh, right, we'll head back and uh, I'll see you when we get there. out of the way because otherwise it might attack when uh, I start to tranquilize these guys. Now these guys are pretty easy to knock out. Uh, we've got a 130 and a 50. So yeah, it just took one. Uh, but they do, their torpor drops incredibly quick so they do wake up very fast as well. And yeah, I could have tamed these guys quite a while because we've been able to make veggie cakes for quite a while. Um, so I could have done this sooner. But better late than never. Just going to put them dinos on to make, get some more eggs done while we're doing this. Where are the veggie cakes? Here we go. I've got plenty more materials if we need to make any more, but I think this should be enough. Um, let's do you. So yeah, look to see the torpidity drops really quick on these guys. Um, we'll just concentrate on this one first and see what veggie cakes we've got with a level 50. See how many that takes to do and then uh, do the 130 after that. I really don't think, I don't know if it makes much of a difference to how fast they produce cementing paste or organic polymer, but um, I think just the lower the level, the uh, the less veggie cakes they're going to eat, really. So in this case, the level really doesn't matter when it comes to a snail. Okay, so we're back and uh, I've been out gathering some more trophies and yeah it looks like we've got enough Titan Bar Venom now and I think I've got a little bit more on the RG just here. Oh and there's our last snail. A bit of running there before he eats all of the veggie cakes. This one took the longest. I'll just grab them. And uh, yeah let's just go and put you with your buddies. Just have to enable wandering and these guys just naturally make cementing paste. And I remember before these guys were introduced into the game, cementing paste was a pain. But uh, four of these, they can all each hold a hundred each. So, yep, cementing paste shouldn't be a problem. Oh, let's just come out this way. So yeah, we got four of them, and I've just emptied this guy, and yeah, like he had 54, so 
they produce a reasonable amount an hour. And I'm just pump food. I just want to see if the food. I, I think I'm going to have to feed them veggie cakes to get their food to go back up. So that's the one thing they do take veggie cakes to run, but that's fine. I've got plenty of them. So there's another three Sarko skins and another two Titan Burr Venom. So I think trophy wise, we're not looking too bad. I'll just put these veggie cakes away before they spoil. So I think we need sort of five of each of these to face the broodmother on gamma and then ten of them to face it on beta. So we're only a few short now I think. But yeah, we're just going to carry on with these Allosauruses and uh, yeah, we'll be back when we've uh, perhaps done something with these guys. Okay, and we're back. And it's actually been a few days. Um, I remember where I was at last time, but um, we've been breeding these Allosauruses. So we're two mutations in now. We've got a weight mutation and a melee tech mutation, as well as combining the mother's stats onto one dino. If we just take a look here. Mother's health and uh, melee stats as well in that first dino. Oh, she's just dropped another one. So this is the original female that we're basing everything off here with the 420. And uh, over the back here, you can see how many iterations or times that we've had to do this. Now that was the, um, this one here was actually quite an early color mutation, uh, but was done with the father's melee damage before I managed to get that in there. So that was no good, but I thought it was a cool color. Now, this is out of the latest batch and we've got another mutation and it is a melee damage mutation so that brings this up to two melee and one health mutation and obviously this is not you know we haven't even started with imprints so I could kind of stop here and just throw this one into the pack and uh, that would be quite a powerful Allosaurus we could make a, a good pack of ten of them that would be pretty pretty tough or we could carry on going for a little while longer so there's no no rush, but I'm kind of liking the green. And here we are, back at the snail farm. Like I say, these guys are just producing plenty of acatina paste, so cementing paste is not a problem. Um, they're even making a little bit of organic polymer there as well, that's quite handy. And um, yeah, so that has literally, I've been at this for a few days, guys, now. Um, just gathering resources, uh, getting some trank stuff made, getting the metal made, and yeah, just playing a little bit of classic art really, hanging around my island uh, doing some dino breeding and so far we've got quite a powerful Allosaurus there and we could probably take it further but uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll see how I feel. I think um, perhaps with the next episode um, we're getting ready we can perhaps take a, tackle a cave. Hope you guys are enjoying the complete series so far and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time. I'm James from Complete Games, thanks for watching and we'll see you.